Good morning and thanks for joining us on Dialogue, a program that seeks to deepen Nigeria's democratic culture, promote good governance under rule of law, and enhances the Nigerian project. My name is Shafiu Suleiman. And on the platform this morning, we're looking at uh, the politics surrounding the tenure elongation of the APC executives. Uh, you will recall that uh, on the 27th of uh, February, uh, the National Executive Council of the uh, All Progressives Congress met in Abuja, where it uh, endorses, you know, a one-year uh, tenure elongation for executives at all levels of the party. Now. This has not gone down well with many uh, party uh, supporters and loyalists. It has generated, there has been generating controversies. But these controversies appear to have uh, led to rest yesterday when President Muhammad Buhari at another National Executive Council meeting uh, hit the hammer, some would say. For the first time, Mr. President appeared to look like the party leader, uh, going by the postulation of uh, former President Olusegun Obasanjo. As a party leader, President Muhammad Buhari did what some felt was the right thing to do, uh, you know, aligning himself with the popular opinion. And of course, uh, he said after reviewing the decision, he felt that uh, it has contravened some sections of the party's constitution and by extension the 1999 constitution as amended. Now this decision has already started generating reactions. Uh, one of the APC chieftains who was saddled with the responsibility of you know mediating and of course uh, reconciling warring factions within the party in some states talking about Senator uh, Bola Matinubu and one of uh, the other chieftain also of the party talking about Mr. Bisi Akonde, uh, Chief Bisi Akonde. Two of them were absent at that meeting yesterday. Uh, some said it might not be unconnected with the decision to uh, extend the tenure of the executive. Um, the reaction for that followed uh, appeared to have confirmed that. Uh, Tinubu said the decision by President Muhammadu Buhari, uh, you know, to call for the reversal of that uh, decision uh, is actually good for the reconciliation of the party. Some party chieftains are already commenting on various social platforms, uh, saying that uh, what the president did is actually uh, saving the party from eminent, uh, you know, crisis because um, many of its uh, loyalists and chieftains are about to leave the party because they felt they're not going to have a better deal. Now, to those who are postulating or who are pushing for the tenure elongation, it's a sad moment anyway. Uh, they are, some would say they are at the losing end because uh, it has, they have to go back to drawing board because this appeared to have altered their arrangement. Some of them are comfortable with the uh, el tenure elongation because uh, that will consolidate their griefs on the party. Well, all of this is what we're going to look at this morning on Dialogue. And I'm joined by a top APC chip 10 talking about uh, Kabir Yahya. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Yes, um, I'm, I'm sure you've been following the recent development very keenly. And the fact that you are one of the chip 10s that are, I'm sure will be concerned about the crisis that is rocking this party, uh, leadership crisis. Uh, including Kaduna, where you happen to base. Now, how are you looking at, uh, 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 you know, the position of President Muhammad Buhari on this matter? You see, this, uh, like you said in your introduction, this very unfortunate, uh, unpopular and... Uh, manifestly illegal hmm. because it was an unconstitutional decision was taken at the APC National Executive Committee meeting right. on February 27th. Right. And they took President Buhari by surprise. Okay. Because there was a national caucus meeting a day earlier on the twenty uh, on the twenty sixth, right. This issue was not tabled. Mm. They used the opportunity of too many people mm. at the national executive committee meeting, knowing President Buhari would not object. It. No, okay. he would not utter a word. Okay, and he did not. Mm. Okay, 
and kind of blackmailed hmm. everybody there. Okay. Using hmm. a very weak okay, uh mis 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 misinterpreting hmm. a very vague clause of the APC constitution that says in the absence of national convention, mm. the National Executive Committee mm. can act on behalf of the National Convention. That was mm. what they used, okay. which was silly, mm. which was ridiculous, mm. which, which, which was preposterous. Mm. Now, unfortunately, mm. the most unfortunate thing about this whole issue is that this tenure allegation came uh, matter came from an inner circle or people that believe mm. are close enough to President Buhari. Okay, they felt uh, okay. Yeah, they, they now tabled it mm. and used an element of surprise. And typical President Buhari, mm. typical, mm. because this man proved his yesterday. President Buhari proved he's an army general. Mm. He's beginning to wake he up. He also no, <laughs> no people don't know him. Okay. Okay, mm. he also refused to table it, he refused to discuss it mm. at the national caucus meeting a day earlier. Yeah, he also took them by surprise in the way. Okay, <laughs> and, and, and did the element of surprise, mm. which is one of the critical uh, elements in warfare. Mm. Well, okay, the, the, so the, now um, you see. Some things begs questions. Hmm. You begin to wonder. People have actually stopped reading. Hmm. Now, if you would have a senior advocate of Nigeria as the party's national legal advisor. Hmm. Okay, now, sorry, I forgot something. <laughs> what they wanted to do, yes. okay, hmm. was to push this, because you know you have the, uh, you have the uh, uh, national, and, uh, no, 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 you have the national caucus, yeah, okay, yes. you have the board of trustees, which we don't have, hmm. and then you have the national executive committee, hmm. and you have the national convention. Hmm. Now, hmm. convention, Party conventions are just noises. What they wanted to do mm. was to use the cover of the National Executive Committee. Mm. Okay? Mm. Because if you remember, I think in one of our in one of our interviews with you, mm. you talked about non-elective convention. Yes, that's exactly you, what I'm talking it about. It is unconstitutional, <laughs> it is illegal. You know? Now what they wanted to do mm. was to take this thing mm. to the National Convention and people shout, hey, and then they would say it has been approved by the national court. But even then, mm. it is stupid. Because, number one, section 223 of the Nigerian constitution mm. clearly say, limits yeah, the, tenure the tenure of party offices to four years. Exactly. Now, you cannot do anything mm. outside the provisions of the Nigerian constitution. Mm. It's a contradiction. That is, even if, mm. and don't forget, there are there is section... 17 sub subsection 1 mm. and section 13 2 mm. B of the APC constitution right. that also limits mm. the tenure of elected officers to four years. Now when this when this thing happened mm. uh, when I met tried through the back door I, I spoke to it didn't work out. I tried to reach mm. I tried to reach uh, Chief Oegu. Mm. I could not. So I got my Malabuni mm. The national secretary. Right. I told him, look, what you guys did mm. is clearly and manifestly illegal. And number one, one, two, you know there's a clause in the APC constitution that you don't take mm. the party to court. You have to, Yes, uh, some are already now, pushing for uh, the, now, the now, punishment now, of... Uh, now, 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 Shafiq, that mm. is stupid. Mm. <laughs> okay? That is stupid. You go to any... Even a magistrate court and challenge this provision, mm. it will not stand because people, you are mm. you you are right as a citizen is being abridged. Mm. Now, but okay. The, now, so I told I talked to, to mm. I, I spoke to the national secretary. Mm. I said, look, you know what, what you did is illegal. Mm. And but are they not aware? They they have the constitution with them. They they no, go through with the no, provisions no, no, and all no, of that. No, no, I think I think I think they were blind to the. You know when you spend years doing things mm. in a wrong way, <laughs> okay? Mm. Somehow, 
you have this feeling that what you are doing is right. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. People now drive on the left-hand side of the road. Mm -hmm. Everywhere in Kaduna. Hmm. I don't understand the left-hand side of the road. Yeah. You mean, you mean uh, uh, they, they, they overtake? No, Is we drive right, mm. okay? But go to a junction, mm. people will enter mm. on your right, which is the left, left hand side of the road mm. okay and uh some time ago mm. you know a police vehicle came out mm. of a t-junction i was on the main road or rubber road mm. this guy was trying to go in mm. okay and he was telling me that i should have stopped for him i said who mm. why don't you know the highway code so you know people mm. people tend to for yeah people, when, when there, they begin there to, are things mm. like this your uh, uh, job politics you know you are so <laughs> so but, but it so, is not mine so, anyway. so, so you it know has come to stand you know somehow. no it has not mm. it's not in our books okay. so you know people mm. people do things mm. this imposition okay yeah. this uh, this uh, this strangulation of internal party democracy yeah. okay that's exactly it's what a, we're, we're it's a pdp for. affair right and mm. somehow mm. it has uh, transmogrified and somehow migrated into the psyche and mindsets mm. of many other political parties especially but, the main but political is it surprising parties. is it surprising because some would tell you that 80 percent of the, the those in the apc are actually from the pdp so is there anything is it a surprising thing if all of that uh, uh, manipulations and maneuvers you know came into politics uh, i mean party politics in the apc is it something new no chef you i don't think it is true that 80 percent of uh APC members are from PDP. I don't believe. I don't. I don't believe. Where that. they actually came from? No, I don't. I don't believe that. You see, APC, mm -hmm. AP, APC is came as a result of a merger, mm -hmm. okay, of opposition political parties in this country. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it is true that some. PDP elements, some key PDP elements mm -hmm. had gone into APC and their migration into the APC mm. uh, assisted greatly in APC winning the That's it. Uh, 2015 election. Yes. Okay? Yes. But I think it is wrong to say that 80% mm. of APC members were PDP. I don't think it is right. <laughs> okay. Now, but, mm -hmm. okay, mm. the migration of Womoku, Konkoso, mm. uh, Anechi, uh, Nyaku mm. and uh, Arufata Ahmed, Sarakia the Kwara governor. Mm. No, no, not Saraki. Arufata Ahmed, the Kwara governor, mm. okay, helped greatly. Mm. Okay, in is one of the factors that assisted mm. in taking PDP out of power. Mm. That is a Nigeria. positive side of it. But, but, <laughs> mm. but. It is wrong to say that mm. eighty percent of us were PDP. Well, but you know, significant percentage of the members. You know, you're, you're mentioning them now. By the time you begin to pinpoint and count the numbers, you, you realize where did they actually came from? Okay, that's not what we are discussing actually. Uh, internal democracy. The fact that your chairman was a PDP member doesn't mean well, all of us were. PDP. I, I'm not referring to my chairman anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know you also happened to be a member of the PDP before. Ah, <laughs> okay. statute of limitation. That was two thousand. Well, well, long ago. well, talking internal democracy, which uh, many believe is the genesis of all of this crisis, uh, some believe those pushing for the tenure elongation are actually those who are favorable in terms of uh, having the grips of the party at state level. We've seen the crisis happening in Kaduna, in, in, in Kano, and other places. Uh, those who are aggrieved felt that the governors have taken over the parties and they're not going to have a fair deal. And some of them are already contemplating leaving the party. Now, to what extent do you think this manipulation or uh, 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 power brokers, that is the governors, uh, are taking pushing this? At what level do you think they are pushing it? You see, Shafiu, let me tell you the truth. The Nigeria Constitution mm -hmm. and the system of, of government we are running. Mm -hmm makes the governors the power centers in this country. constitution? No, yeah, the, the Nigerian constitution. Uh, at it what makes, point? It makes, I'm mm. it makes the constitution vests mm -hmm. executive powers of the state in the governors. Uh, but not party? It, no. Okay. Me. The constitution vests mm -hmm. executive powers of the state in the governors. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that is, that is an enormous responsibility. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, 
And then somehow over the past 16, 17 years, mm. the doctrine of separation of powers mm. has been abused. Mm -hmm. Okay? As a result of the governors taking over the state's houses of assembly. Let me make my point. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And this came, last time I wanted to make the point, your colleague, he, that, Nupema, oh, his PDP. Uh, anyway. Now, well, well, now, ha, ha, now, now, excuse me. We don't you? have a no, no, party affiliation. No, no, here. let me. We are neutral. No, you are not. <laughs> let let me, you are not, you are APC. <laughs> let me, you are APC. That, let that's me, serious. Let Where me, is my membership card? I will, <laughs> give, I will tell you your membership number. Now, let me, okay. let me make my point. Right. Now, Obasanju hmm. had always wanted life presidency. Hmm. Because even in 1979, he never wanted to hand over. Mm. It was Sekuture and I think one of these uh, uh, veteran African head of states mm -hmm. that told him, look, you have to go. Mm. We can, you cannot come to your course and try and get tenure you know, extension from us. Go back mm. to your country mm. and get tenure. You know. So Obasanjo never wanted to leave office. Mm -hmm. And Obasanjo in 1999 felt the only way mm. he could stay perpetually in power mm. was to take over the party. So he took over PDP. Mm. And that's what, what, okay. what's about the leadership? Excuse me. No, Let's, excuse me. Oh, okay. He took over PDP at the center. Mm. He was uh, making and I'm making chairman sometimes at gunpoint mm. and ceded control of the PDP to the government. But that was an allegation. No, excuse know. me. No, no please, 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 please. Oh, we cannot establish No, excuse that. me, excuse mm -hmm. me. And ceded control of the PDP mm. organs to the governors in the states. Mm. Such that it was the governors that determined mm -hmm. who went to the state's house of assembly. The same body mm -hmm. that is supposed to check and balance them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, this is mm -hmm. one of the unfortunate uh, phenomena mm -hmm. the Nigerian political system has inherited from the PDP. Even though it's illegal. It is illegal. Uh, this... Uh, your job, geopolitical mm. zones are not in our statute books, mm. yet you keep hammering about them. Well, so now, why don't we this, challenge them in this, court? this is uh, this is this is one of the mm. this is one of the unfortunate legacies mm. the PDP has bequeathed mm. to the nation's political architecture. Okay, mm. and you know it's it took a long time, I'm mm. sure, to build mm. this, but get the correct dynamite, mm. you just need a few seconds to, to blow destroy everything. So yeah. now, now this thing has been destroyed. Mm. Mm. It will take time mm. to correct. And you see, you know what? But why should it this take thing, time? This measure taken when you're by, talking about change. No, excuse me. This measure taken by President Buhari, mm. okay, is one such move. Mm. Okay, mm. look, you can't abridge internal party democracy. This is what President Buhari is telling his own party. Mm. They have okay. to go, they have and, to do things and, the right and, way. And, and mm. Shafiu, you know what? Mm. The way the way the political system is now, any governor that is worth his, to, uh, his salt mm. will still control the party at the, at the state. How possible? Because now the governors are already jittery. They have realized that uh, the decision is likely going to affect their present arrangement. Because if... Uh, you know, this actually allowed to happen, or rather, the decision taken by Buhari is implemented, it means we have to have new party executive, whether in acting capacity, uh, and that will give uh, some, some leverage to other uh, agreed parties, because there could be some sense of neutrality, and that will give fair deal to Point, point of correction. Mm -hmm. There is nothing like acting capacity. Mm. It is not envisaged... Are we going to have the convention no. now? Excuse me. It is not envisaged in the APC constitution. Okay, so what happened? Okay. Mm -hmm. The tenure of the state executives mm -hmm. of the APC expires in April. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Therefore, you have to have congresses. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. and, con and the national convention to elect officers. Now, if anybody 
If anybody wants to recontest, they are free. But you have to resign your opposition one month. Yes. To if it is so, so what happened to the earlier Congress that was conducted that has been in the controversial Congress that was conducted at state level? Which one? Yeah, because I understand, you know, the 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 the, the, the recent uh, the convention that was the, not convention now, is it the delegates? Um, election or something that has to do with the national convention, those that are to attend the national convention now. You know, that is also subject of controversy. Uh, it, it, at some point, uh, the, those within the party felt that uh, the governors have hijacked the list. No, let me tell you something. That. This is also one of the unfortunate legacies of the, of the PDP. Mm. I was, I, 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 incidentally, I, 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 I was part, I was one of the architects of the mm. APC constitution. Mm. Okay. See, mm. there is nothing like permanent delegate. Mm. Just like it is in the PDP constitution. Mm. But somehow, this control and what I, you know what I told you about the governors, mm. somehow, over PDP 16 years or so, governors made some people permanent delegates. Mm. So they'll just go inside rooms, write names. Okay. Now, Mm. Now, mm. that is manifestly illegal. Go to court and challenge it, mm. you will win. I don't think, I, I, but, I can't, but, excuse but, me, yeah, but, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, okay. You see, these delegates are supposed to mm. be elected at world congresses. Mm -hmm. Which was not done. <laughs> yes. shall, you, shall, you, shall you let me finish? Okay. You see, I am mm. going to be 60 end of this year. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and excuse me, excuse me, I'm going to be 60 end of this year. Mm, by the grace of God. There is nothing. Mm. There is nothing. There is no circumstance that will stop me from telling the truth according to my understanding to anybody. Right. <clears throat> okay, mm. now let me tell you. These delegates are supposed to be elected on a one-time basis mm. from world congresses. Mm. I don't think any, I don't think world congresses have held in any state in Nigeria. Okay. Okay. Right, right. So whatever yeah. contraption there was, mm. is illegal. So, but you know we but, have but this. Is, we okay. have uh, we have this adversary mm. legal system. Mm. You have to take a matter to court. The judiciary, the the courts cannot come out and say, "Oh no, chef, you this pen uh, that's in your pocket should not be there." Mm. The, but beyond just going to court, the lists, if you like, the, the, the illegal lists, in court, has been taken to the national uh, uh, um, level of the party, and it is accepted. And that has been the subject of controversy. A, a lot of people have written, those who are aggrieved have written that... Shall you, that, in my opinion, that mm. action was done by incurium. Therefore, it is null and void. This is my opinion. But it, it, can't okay. it go now if, for instance, the leadership, the pre present re leadership is, arou is allowed to prevail? Uh, don't you think that would still stand? I don't think, I, I, I don't think with President Buhari's stance. Mm. You see, let me tell you something. In the build-up to, to the 2015 election, at least one year to the election, I had the very rare opportunity, and it's one of mm. the life chances I've had that I'm very proud of. Mm. I had the very rare opportunity of coming very close to President Buhari. Mm -hmm. I would go, time permitting, I would go and sit with President Buhari, mm. then GMB, mm. and sometimes talk for about an hour. Mm. Okay? This is a person, this thing about uh, corruption, mm. it's not a face thing about Buhari. Mm. This thing about mm. uh, procedure, mm. legality. Okay? He doesn't just say it by mouth. Mm. Okay? That 27th, President Buhari must have kept quiet hmm. because hmm. he wanted to get an informed opinion. Just like he said, he was reviewing the decision. It, exactly. Hmm. Uh, maybe you... Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll have to take a short break here. Yeah. Uh, in case you're just joining us, it's Dialogue, and I've been dialoguing with uh, Kabir Yahya, uh, an APC chief 10. Together we'll be looking at... The reversal order, whether it is end of the road for governors who are pushing for the tenure allegation alongside those who are benefit, who are going to benefit from the arrangement. Uh, we'll take a short break here. Uh, we'll be back in a short while. Please stay with us.
Upgrade your star time to code at this Easter and enjoy these amazing programs. Yes, free. Hurry now. Recharge. Pay one month subscription on Nova, Basic, or Smart Bouquet and enjoy two weeks upgrade to the next higher bouquet for the first two weeks. Classic and Super subscribers are not left out. Pay one month and get one week extra free. Offer valid till 30th of April 2018. Star Times. Enjoy digital life. And, uh, this morning we are talking PMB's reversal order uh, and whether it is uh, the end of the road for governors. Uh, and I've been talking with uh, Kabiria here, an APC chieftain. Well, one fundamental question many will ask is, to what extent do you think this uh, stance of President Muhammadu Buhari will change the situation? Because uh, just like uh, you, to, you said earlier on, uh, a lot of people believe that uh, the enormity of, of, of the grief of the political parties at the state level by the governors is something that uh, uh, can hardly be checkmate. Uh, with this development, you think it is going to change anything? Look, uh, Shafiu, all that President Buhari said mm. is that, number one, you cannot sit in a room mm. and elongate, extend, um, uh, whatever mm. you are That is That contravenes the APC constitution, mm. and that also contravenes the grand norm. The Nigerian Constitution. Right. Therefore, it is illegal. Mm. Now, look, Mahatma Gandhi says mm. the truth mm. is the truth, even if you are a minority of one. Mm. Okay? What President Buhari is saying is that go and follow the party constitution. Mm. Which is to conduct. And, and, and you know what? Mm. The President Buhari, I know. Mm is someone that can come out and say, look, <laughs> if you won't do this, you're on your own. Hmm. I won't be part of it. I won't be part of it. But okay, in... now, okay. what will now happen is that I think I saw some, whether it's on WhatsApp or Facebook or something, I saw something about uh, hmm. uh, a timetable for Congresses you know, uh, party congresses uh, from the APC beginning 7th April. When was that released? Okay. Is it after the decision? No, sometime last week. Okay. Now, I think what they wanted to do mm. was to hold these congresses, mm. non-elective, like mm. they say, mm. hold these congresses, go to a world congress mm. and say, uh, all right, uh, the world congress, mm. as, as the highest organ of the party in the world, mm. has endorsed yeah. tenure extension for world executive committee members. Mm. They now go to local to governments, state, to, yeah. uh, uh, stage managed delegate election, mm. go to local governments, mm. okay, mm. Uh, and get the local government congresses to endorse. Mm. Now, by what President Buhari says, mm. Okay? Mm. And by the party's constitution, the present mm. ex-coup, ex mm. the present word ex-coup, mm. as they are, cannot seek for re-election. Because they must resign one month mm. before the Congress. Before. Mm. Now that Congress is scheduled for 7th uh, 
April. Right. They must have resigned by 7th of this month, mm. March. Which has already elapsed. Which has elapsed. So, the, mm. all right, so th there's this saying in Hausa that in Zaki Gina, Rabi Mugunta, Gina Shikajiri, you know, when this, you <laughs> this is exactly what they have done to themselves. Mm. Yeah, okay, but, but, now. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. the danger is that any act done by these organs of the party after the expiration of the tenure mm. it also becomes another will be null and void. Mm. Okay, now um, some would say just beyond the position taken by President Muhammad Wari, or what would be next? Is it uh, a clear statement that you should leave now? What exactly that means in terms of the, 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 the running of the, the leadership of the party now? Because, okay, what you've done is illegal. What is the next step? What should have been done, you know, in the, in the next couple of... Uh, the National Executive Committee mm -hmm. or the National Working Committee, I understand they raised uh, some technical committee, whatever that means. <laughs> now, the National Executive Committee or the National Working Committee mm -hmm. should now announce the dissolution of... Of the, the current ESCO? The word ESCOs? Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. The, the word ESCOs, as they are, mm. by the provisions of uh, Section 13 to b mm. of the APC Constitution mm. are now debarred. Now they, they cannot they stand dissolved. They, they can, no, mm. they are not dissolved. Okay. But they cannot seek re election. Yeah, and, and because if you mm. want to seek re election, you have to resign one month mm. before to the World Congress. Mm. Okay, so if the local government congresses mm. are scheduled at a time, anything, I can't remember the timetable, but if they are scheduled mm. at a time, anything, is bef anything before uh, uh, today's 28th, yeah, you talk about today's April. before 28th April, mm. they also can't seek re-election. Okay. But is this, isn't that something that can be manipulated? Even you the timetable you're talking about, can't it be reversed now? Because they can also reverse it. Instead of uh, taking it at the, on the 7th of April or 28th of April, as I said, can, they can now reverse it back so that they can be able to meet up with the, the, the provisions of the Constitution. Uh, well, well, well I, I, I don't know. I'm only telling you what I have seen. Mm -hmm. Okay? World Congresses are scheduled for, mm -hmm. for 7th of April. So... All world exco that mm. are that intends mm. to recontest or to seek election into other offices mm. must resign by six of uh, by by eight of uh, of March. Mm -hmm. If that has not been done, mm. they cannot seek re-election. Now, now, one thing uh, I want to ask you is this: uh, many have already uh, started uh, seeing this decision by President Muhammadu Buhari as part of the remedies to the crisis rocking the APC. Uh, that has already started manifesting, looking at the reactions of some uh, members who felt aggrieved, you know, even at the top level. They're seeing it as one step, you know, to bring the party back to its uh, footings. Uh, how do you think that can be realized, especially now that uh, President Muhammad Buhari set up a committee to reconcile this uh, uh, agreed party members. You see, it is not. Uh, it is not. Uhuru. It is not a decision per se. Okay. Okay. Mm. President Buhari expressed an informed opinion. Okay. Okay. And I, I, like, you mean it's not binding or? No, he mm. expressed an informed opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. And like I said earlier, mm. the truth is the truth, even if you are a minority of one. Mm. Now. Fortunately, this minority is the Nigerian president. I see. If me as Kabira here had been there, mm. uh, I think I may only waste my time trying to... <laughs> to, to because, manipulate. Because, because I think about a week ago, I saw something about, mm. you know, from the non... National Working Committee members of the National Executive, mm. which actually formed the majority of the National Executive Committee members elected at the National Convention, mm. endorsing this elongation thing. Mm. Okay, mm. and that statement was signed by someone that I know is very close to President Buhari. Mm. Nasr Danu. He's very close to President Buhari. Okay. He's always around the villa. Mm. You know, this, I like this uh, President <laughs> Buhari. He has this element of surprise in him. Mm. Okay, now talking about, uh, talking about uh, this Tindubu committee. Mm. Incidentally, I, 
I, I had a long discussion with Senator Bola Tinubu yeah. at Kano Airport while we were waiting, awaiting the arrival of the president mm. at this uh, Ganduja's daughter's wedding. Uh, wedding. Right. Mm. Tinubu mm. was vehemently, so I was not surprised when the Lagos State Chairman went to court. Mm. Tinubu was vehemently against, because Tinubu aligned with me. We had. Mm. Many differences, especially about the issues in Kaduna State. Mm. You know, uh, Tinubu saying that you want to let the car out of right. You know, anyway, is that a conciliatory? No, I can tell you. So that you don't. No, no, <laughs> okay. I can. I can go, tell go you. Ahead. Tinubu was mm. of the opinion mm. that some people should be allowed mm. automatic tickets. Oh. Let me finish. Automatic. Some people should be allowed automatic tickets mm -hmm. to either Senate or House of Assembly mm -hmm. or National Assembly. As part, okay? of, uh, As part of reconciliation. So I said, I show you. Mm -hmm. If you, I show you, cannot guarantee people automatic tickets, mm -hmm. then who in APC can? He, he said, What do you mean? Mm -hmm. I said, In all those states, you are candidates failed to get APC nomination. Mm -hmm. You couldn't guarantee them. Uh, so, so mm -hmm. if you assure you cannot guarantee someone in all those states, yeah. or to, so who, who in else? APC? He yeah. kept quiet. So somebody, <laughs> now, now, now assure yeah, you, yes. assure you, assure you, when we spoke, was vehemently against this uh, Taylor yeah. it's obvious. allegation thing. He was and away from... The last thing, the last thing he told me was that it will not stand. Mm. This was what uh, Ashwaju told me. Mm. Okay? Now, Chief Akonde, mm. I tried reaching Chief Akonde. Mm. Okay? Um, but unfortunately, I couldn't get him. Mm. Um, but you know what? Mm. Chief Akonde, this thing, mm. elongation, is one thing Chief Bisi Akonde will never control. Yeah. Okay? Uh, that, that is clear. It's obvious. The two of them were absent at the meeting. Apparently, uh, in anticipation of the surprises, maybe they felt Mr. President will align with the decision, and they decided not to be a part of it. And But then, what do you make up with their absence at the meeting? No, I, 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 I wouldn't uh, speak on their behalf. Mm -hmm. They may have many reasons for being absent. Mm -hmm. I know Chief Akande, for instance, uh, has been indisposed. You know, he had a surgery mm -hmm. uh, in the U.S., and he has been, you know, he was advised. But okay, it could be a personal reason. Anyway. To restrict movies. So I'm sure it's, mm -hmm. it, it could be some personal reasons. Okay. But you know what? Bola mm Tinubu. -hmm. The Bola Tinubu and Chief Akonde, I know, mm -hmm. Are not people that will shy away from expressing their opinions anytime, anywhere. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's time we throw the line open here. I'm sure many of uh, our viewers out there will want to make uh, inputs into this discussion, especially uh, the fact that it affects, uh, uh, you know, the electorate themselves. Because if there are crises uh, within the parties, of course, uh, they bear the brunt. Okay, the numbers uh, on the screen. Okay, zero eight zero three zero nine five six three seven five zero eight zero. Six eight nine one eight one five. We'll have a caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, we have to let you go. Probably you're not set. The numbers are already on your screen. Uh, call us and share your thought with us on this uh, topic we're discussing this morning. Um, Okay, another caller. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, uh, who is on the line, please? My name is Balaba from Zaria. Go ahead, Bala from Zaria. Confusion, okay. What? Because the governors are selfish, hmm. the leaders are selfish, and what the hell is the FPC? Hmm. Okay, thank and you. And we, we, we in the PDP, hmm. 
Thank you very much for your contribution. Uh, hello, good morning. Hello. Yes, who is on the line? I'm so I'm 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 a I'm a Buhari calling from Bono State. Okay, Ahmed, go ahead. How is Bono this morning? Uh, go ahead, Ahmed. Hello, Ahmed. Yes. Are you there? Go ahead. Am I, okay, am I uh, am I on to you? Yes, just go ahead. You are on to dialogue. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Go ahead, please. Uh, actually, um, uh, okay, I want to express my happiness. Okay. You Just go ahead. You don't need to listen to yourself, I please. I want to express my happiness by the way, Mr. President, uh, echo there. You need to turn down the volume of... Anyway, the message has already been uh, uh, delivered. I'm sure the viewers out there must have understand your line of thought now. He's aligning himself and commending the president for taking the decision. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine. What's your name and where are you calling from? Lawal Ahmad, Okay, go ahead, Lawal. I think I think what Bahari is to this Okay. Now, mm. we can from what I just need to do what we Sorry? We don't want people just to go like that. Let them come to what they do. Mm. Okay. Uh, if I understand, Hello. you want the Congresses to take place so that people can be elected, not yeah. selected. Okay. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello? Hello? Yes, good morning. Hello? Hello, you are on to dialogue. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, it doesn't seem to. It's like you're not hearing us. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, who are we on to? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Very quickly, Mohammed. Where in Yobi? <laughs> Dabchi, where, 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 where? Oh, Brusari. Huh? Go, go, go ahead, Mohammed. Very quickly. Uh oh, we lost the call. Uh, I, I, I thought we, anyway, let's, let's come back to it. You've had some of the, um, the callers, largely in support of President Mohammed Buhari's uh, stance. Well, I, I had Balawa, a PDP member. Yeah, waiting from, <laughs> from, from somewhere. You yeah. see, look, um, what, like I said, what President Buhari mm -hmm. did was to say to say the truth as it is. Right. Okay. Even if that goes against the grain of majority. Yeah. And even if that, that will also affect it, because along right. the line, some would say the governors have also a no, way of blackmailing. No, oh, right. you, it will never affect him. President Buhari is the. Only Nigerian president in recent history mm. that is elected by popular votes. Don't forget President Buhari is in office mm. by virtue of 15,424,921 votes. So you think Niger the governors are insignificant? Niger Niger nobody is significant. Look, you know what? Mm. People are making a mistake. Right. Anyway, maybe these are issues for another day. <laughs> yes. Now, um, you see, any attempts... Mm. To abridge internal party democracy mm. is a recipe to chaos and organized disenchant uh, disenchantment. Mm. This thing about abridging party uh, internal party democracy mm. is actually 
what so what what laid the foundation of the dim, uh, of, of the destruction of the PDP? Right. Okay. So what what the president What's did to actually? Save, yeah, to save the yes, party, to save from, the party. From, from imminent collapse. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Kabir Yahya, and ABC Chip Ten. Together, we'll be looking at the PMB's reversal order and whether it's going to be the end of the road for governors who have held sway, uh, you know, been in the grips of the the leadership of the party at state levels. I thank you very much for investing your time with us. Yes, on your on his behalf and the technical crew and those of us who those of you who call uh, out there, uh, I'm Shafir Suleiman. I do enjoy the rest of your day. Next.